Hey girlfriend, it's Kim Barnes Waterman here. Do you have sons? Do you have boys? I have six sons, all right? And I found a scripture lots of years ago that's been a blessing to me all these years because I have six sons. Um, now this scripture can be used for daughters too, okay? Can we can do the generic thing, but in particular for me, it blesses me regarding my sons. Listen to this, you're gonna like this if you have boys. It's in Isaiah 45, okay? Listen to this. Ask me about the things to come concerning my sons, and you shall commit to me the work of my hands, for it is I who made the earth and created man upon it. Wow, doesn't that put it in perspective? How many times do you ask God concerning your sons? Like all the time, right? All the time. What God is saying is, first of all, he knows it. He knows it. He says, ask me about the things to come concerning my sons. So we got it back into perspective. Ultimately, these are God's kids. And you shall commit to me the work of my hands. See, God keeps bringing it back to him. Ask me about your kids. Remember that they're mine. Commit your kid to me. Remember that I made him. And then he goes on to say, because it's I who made the earth, and I'm the one who created man and put him on it. Wow, I love how God cares for our mama's hearts. He knows we're asking about our sons. He knows that we're wondering about their future. He knows that we're concerned for their safety and their choices, right? He gets that. And he wants us today to put the focus, the responsibility, the commitment back on him. I remember that that son of mine is yours, that you created that boy, that you planned for him. I commit him again to you, Lord, and I'm going to watch and see what you're going to do with your kid that you gave to me to care for in this lifetime. Be encouraged today. God knows our mama's hearts, and he wants us to recommit back to him. And while you're recommitting your Isaac, while you're recommitting your son to the Lord today, God's going before you. He's setting a guard at your rear. He's covering you with his hand, and underneath you are his everlasting arms. Lady, 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 you will not do one thing today apart from your God. He's got you covered. I'll see you next time.